Earl Stanley Gardner's The Case of the Velvet Claws marks the debut of Perry Mason, a character who would become one of the most famous fictional defense attorneys in legal mystery literature. In this inaugural novel, Gardner introduces readers to Mason's formidable legal prowess and his knack for uncovering the truth in complex and perilous situations. The novel begins with a classic setup, a mysterious and glamorous client, a high-stakes legal battle, and a tangled web of deceit. The story opens when Mason is approached by a woman named Eva Belter, who is seeking his help in a scandalous and potentially ruinous situation. Eva, who is portrayed with a blend of allure and desperation, is embroiled in a case involving a sensational scandal that threatens to expose her personal and professional life. As the narrative unfolds, Mason's sharp intellect and unconventional methods come to the fore. He is not only a lawyer but also an astute investigator who relies on his keen observational skills and instinctive understanding of human nature. His approach to the case is both meticulous and daring, revealing his readiness to bend the rules when necessary to seek justice. The central mystery involves a velvet claw that is linked to the crime at the heart of the case. This seemingly innocuous item becomes a crucial piece of evidence, symbolizing the intricate and often deceptive nature of the clues that Mason must unravel. Gardner's use of this motif adds a layer of intrigue and emphasizes the thematic focus on appearances versus reality. The Velvet Claw, with its associations of luxury and deception, encapsulates the novel's exploration of hidden motives and concealed truths. Mason's interactions with other characters are pivotal in driving the plot forward. His relationships with his secretary, Della Street, and his private investigator, Paul Drake, are central to his investigative process. Della Street's loyalty and efficiency complement Mason's legal acumen, while Paul Drake's investigative skills provide the additional support needed to uncover critical information. The dynamics between these characters not only enhance the narrative but also establish the foundational relationships that will be integral throughout the series. The novel's plot is characterized by its fast-paced and suspenseful progression. Gardner masterfully constructs a series of twists and turns that keep readers engaged and guessing until the very end. The legal and detective elements are seamlessly woven together, showcasing Gardner's expertise in both fields and setting the stage for the subsequent novels in the Perry Mason series. Themes of justice, morality, and the nature of truth are explored throughout the novel. Mason's unwavering commitment to defending his clients, regardless of personal risk, underscores his moral integrity and challenges conventional notions of legality and ethics. The story also delves into the personal sacrifices that Mason makes in his quest for justice, highlighting the often blurred line between right and wrong in the pursuit of the truth. Gardner's writing style in The Case of the Velvet Claws is straightforward yet effective, employing sharp dialogue and vivid descriptions to create a gripping narrative. The legal jargon and courtroom drama are presented with clarity, making the complexities of the case accessible to readers. This style not only serves to enhance the realism of the legal proceedings but also ensures that the suspense remains palpable throughout the novel. In conclusion, The Case of the Velvet Claws establishes Perry Mason as a compelling and resourceful protagonist whose legal expertise and investigative skills make him a standout figure in detective fiction. The novel's intricate plot, engaging characters, and thematic depth set a high standard for the subsequent books in the series. Gardner's portrayal of Mason's journey through a labyrinth of deceit and moral ambiguity offers a fascinating exploration of justice and the human condition, ensuring that the novel remains a classic in the genre.